The world's largest capture installation has been launched CO2 from the air. In Iceland, the world's largest plant was launched capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Orca, because that's what the installation is called, it can suck 4,000 tons of CO2 out of the air every year and inject it deep into it land for mineralization, contributing to mitigating the effects of change atmospheric. About 40 kilometers southeast of the capital of Iceland Reykjavik, the largest capture plant to date has started operating carbon dioxide atmosphere. The installation was named Orca, after Icelandic words Orca meaning energy. It was built by a Swiss startup Climeworks and the Icelandic company Carbfix. Working at full capacity, Orca is expected to download from every year air 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide, which according to the U.S. Agency Environmental Protection EPA, corresponds to emissions from approximately 870 cars. It's not many, considering last year's global emissions were 31.5 billion tons. Despite this, Orca is the world's largest facility of this type. Cost the construction of the installation amounted to approximately 15 million US dollars. As the authors of the project admitted, Orca will transfer removal from carbon dioxide air to the next level by combining direct technology capturing CO2 from the atmosphere with its underground storage. Supporters projects believe that this type of technologies can become the main tool in fighting climate change. However, critics say this technology is still too expensive and it could take decades for it to start working on a big one scale. To collect carbon dioxide from the air, the plant uses 12 fans that draw air into 8 collectors, resembling slightly large containers. Inside them is a highly selective material a filter that captures carbon dioxide. After carbonation of the filter material, the, the collector is closed. Then the temperature inside it is raised to 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. This releases carbon dioxide from the filter material. W the next step of high concentration CO2 is mixed with water and then pumped into a previously prepared well to a depth of approximately 1000 meters. There it reacts with basalt rocks and within a few years it succumbs mineralization. There is a rock left of him. This removes carbon dioxide from the air and returned to the ground in a permanent and safe manner. Thanks to our solution we can measure exactly how much carbon dioxide has been removed and converted into stone. Direct air capture also means that CO2 can be used as raw material in many useful applications, we read on the website Climeworks. Our machines consist of modular CO2 collectors, which can be stacked to build installations of any size. Machines for directly capturing carbon dioxide from the air are powered solely by renewable energy or energy from waste, we read further. Scientific research indicates that reducing global emissions CO2 is not enough to effectively fight global warming. Ought also remove it from the atmosphere. Experts from Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC. Until the middle of the century every year 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide will have to be removed from the air. One of the solutions that can help achieve this goal are installations similar to the one launched in Iceland. The plant built by Climeworks and Carbfix is not the first installations for capturing CO2 from the air. There are already a dozen or so operating at on other pilot projects, however are much smaller and absorbing less carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than the Orca plant.
Thank you.